Welcome to Upgrade. I'm your host, Frank the Tank. Now, let me talk about this Skywell. This thing was incredible. I went to Sharp's um, facility in somewhere, Santa Ana. I'm not going to say the place, but I was so amazed with this stuff that it's actually in consumers' hands now. Now, there's a crazy thing going on right now, and a lot of stuff to do with the environment and um, the green initiatives. So let me talk a little bit about this. The product itself, it's called Skywell. They have two different models. They have the Skywell 100 and the Skywell 5T. Now, the one I've reviewed, the one I've seen, I personally drank from it, it was a 5T. Let me tell you something about this. This machine was incredible. It looked exactly the same size as a regular fountain. It's, set, it's missing the top of it where you actually have to put the five gallon container you know um this thing was amazing it was um it was small it was it, it got my eye because it's all chromed out it looked awesome now i did see the skywell 1000 i just didn't know what it was until i finally find out what it was so i'm seeing these at conventions areas open places now <clears throat> companies are choosing these methods and it's see because it's a NASA produced technology. They're producing this to create water in other environments and it just creates water with humidity and air, hot air it produces. So if you guys know your air conditioners at home, when it's, um, when it's cooling, it needs a drainage area to spill all this condensed water that accumulated. Now, this system does the same thing, but instead of throwing it away, it, it goes through a filtering system and then UVI lights could kill any other bacteria before it's drinkable. Now, the 5T that I saw could contain, it contains five gallons. That means it takes a couple hours to, you know, to create the water because it has to condense it and it has to drip it down. It just, like I said, it's exactly like an air conditioner. So you hear air conditioner running and it's dripping water. That's how fast you're going to produce water on these things. Now, I'm not saying to replace your home version, but it's a great start. But... I, at the price that I saw, it was for three grand. The 5T was three grand. The Skywell, I'm not sure. I'm not familiar with the how much the pricing costs, but there's you could contact your local Sharp dealer. And they have these. They're only not producing the copiers, but they're producing these great machines. Now, when I saw it, I saw it, they had three of them in the place. So if one runs out, you can always run to the next one and drinks from the other one. Now the the 5T is it got my overall. I came to see. Uh, I was there to see TV, sharp TVs and touchscreen TVs. But the one thing I I was so intrigued was the 5T unit. I mean I was like, if I would have to replace one, I would buy one of those. And but I didn't ask a lot of questions. But about the filtering system, the only thing is that every 10,000 gallons, you have to replace the filtering system or every couple months. Now, the three R phases of uh, filters, the three filter system, I'm going to show a video in a bit right now uh, on how it works. Once it does uh, filtering, it, it you could take the water. Now, the 5T that I saw, it could create tea water, hot tea, and it could create cold water. So... I was drink. I drank maybe like six cups of the cold water, and it tastes so clear, so natural. That I was so amazed. I've never tasted a water like it. You know, it was like uh, not other water. And let me tell you something. One scary thing about the Earth and about the planet. Now they're said that there's at least five percent plastics in our drinking water. How did they get there? Well, it's easy. A lot of our clothing is made by polyester, more plastic of fiber stuff, you know, our tags and stuff like that. You put them in the washing machines. The washer has to drain all of the stuff. It goes into the ocean. And here the fish is eating, consume it. And not only that, it goes into our drinking water. So every single drinking bottle of water that you get, you're drinking some sort of plastics in there. Now, they are creating cancers and other stuff, but there's no studies for me to prove that. But... Just put it together, you know, put the facts together. You're drinking some plastics and um, sooner or later you are going to drink more of the plastics the more we we destroy this planet with all the plastic environment that we're, we're, we're putting out to the earth. Now this one, there's no pipes connected to the system. There's no water into it. There's nothing connected to it. It just gets the air. The hotter you live in the climate, in a humidity area, the more you're going to produce of this water. 
and it, it does produce it does take electricity of course you know i'm not sure of the voltage that's something you have to investigate if you go to skywell.com you can find out more information about it but you're not connecting to anything else other than the electricity to produce the water the air you the you know the air that you're breathing and all the hot stuff all the moisture you're breathing in you're drinking it now don't recommend your in a, a, to put one of these systems maybe in a an environment like a construction center or anything like that because it produces more dust you're going to be changing more of the filters so but the system was solid it seems like they got their stuff together they're taking these machines to mars they're going to take it to mars they're going to take it to anywhere they're traveling they're going to take these things they're going to put them out there and they're going to collect water if you guys remember star wars um luke skywalker he was farming water in the beginning if you guys still see those machines i'll show you if i could put a little picture of it uh, they were producing water that's that's how they farm now if you would have some of these suckers you know in the course in the desert you're okay producing stuff, you know, the moisture is going to produce it, change it, it's going to help the earth out. Not only that, you're going to drink pure water. And not only that, on top of that, the UV light, the whole freaking system where you're drinking anything, any virus or anything like that, that's any, any kind of environment, it's killing it off. So it's not bad, you know. And uh, I thought it was a great option. Now, they did have another option that was very intrigued with it. So say you have this guy well or the uh, the 1000 the the 100 or the 5T a great option was that they do have a water connection in there that's a secondary option if you want it so if you're not producing as fast water as you want it to do it's okay you could connect it to your pipeline and it will it will filter the water of course at the same time producing water so it's not only collecting water it's actually going to use your pipeline too this is option it was uh, set for both of them now the skywell 100 had a huge gallon i don't know how many gallons they had but this system is made for like you know veneers and open areas and fairs like i said i saw this one the 100 at a convention center and i was so intrigued it was open for the public people were just putting their bottled waters and drinking it out there and taking it off you know really good option to have i mean you fill up the water and what what you know you're just spending electricity so the more we have all these solar panels and other stuff you know we're turning to the green uh, green initiative instead of producing these systems that uh send it, um that are producing water by collecting um um salt water or anything like that this is a great option just to collect air hot air humidity and create it into water i mean i was very impressed with this stuff this is one of those things i I would want to, if I could afford it, I would have one in my house. Now, I might be able to buy one because it's three grand, the 5T. I don't know. I'm not sure about the 100, how much it costs. I'm going to investigate some more. But the 5T was about $3,000. So if you are spending more than maybe uh, a to, to 1000 bucks, a thousand bucks a year on water, maybe it's, you know, three years. It's not a bad investment. But on top of that, you do have to buy the filters, you know, and that's a different pricing too. I'm getting more information as we go along. If you guys want to know about it, I'm going to look into it more. I have a dealer that's going to lend us a demo and take a look at it. And I'm going to get more information on how much the filtering system and other stuff costs. But if you guys want more information, go to skywell.com. It's a sharp machine. I was really in love with it and I'm still I am I, I I think this is a step forward and it, it'll be something for in the future they could produce these mass machines that could produce water for these uh, African nation people that need it out there I mean the technology is there now it's just to put it in consumers hands and once it gets in consumers hands people like to tweak things and hack things and make it better I hope that this is something that will produce somebody in other countries to say hey we got a cheaper solution maybe this is one way we can go and this is not only going to help um, um have dr safe drinking water but it'll produce uh, it'll help the earth out too instead of us taking water from our wells and our rivers we're going to create it from the air and the moisture and this is one of the things that i really like it and i'm really impressed to be in the uh, that they have this for consumers now i'm gonna put a little video here so you guys can play it and if you guys like what you see, please subscribe to Upgrade. I'm your host, uh, Frank the Tank, and check a look at the video, and you guys let me know what you guys think. Let's check out this new water filtering system. There's nothing attached but the power on it. It's crazy. Love the technology. Has a nice touch screen here. A heat sensor. Uh, come in here, change it for coffee water, cooling system. For right now, we're just gonna get regular water. Put it down here. We just hit the water. 
close it up. And this thing contains five gallons, which is an awesome option. And, um, and it works with moisture. One of those things that's crazy. It's a NASA produced technology. Um, so if you have a humid environment, humidity could be high, you're gonna produce a lot of water. And it just doesn't have anything, no pipes, no nothing, just electrical. And of course, like I said, it has a filtering system here, which is great that you have to change it every couple hundred gallons, I guess. And then um, this unit, it's not that bad. It's about three grand. Like I say, five gallons. Awesome thing. Look at the display by Sharp. Skywell. Well, the only thing it's connected to is power. There's no water system, no piping, no nothing. There's a fan, it just works on moisture. Exactly. Well, it's supposed to be one of the cleanest water that is produced here. So here, we were saying, what are you saying, like, in the future, so water is going to be... This is a filter system. system. It's going to be, uh... It's crazy. And it holds five gallons. Five gallons. Five gallons, and it gets moisture out of the air, and it creates water filtering system and drinks, and you could put the temperature control here. 